Hi, this is Piotr Walczyszyn, Adobe Creative Cloud Evangelist. So today I want to share with you um, a sneak peek of a Google Chrome extension that I've been working on as my site project. Um, it's a tool that allows you to inspect uh, media queries that are defined for a website that you're visiting uh, with your browser. Uh, so let's get started. And first of all, you can get it from Google um, uh, Chrome Web Store. So if you go there, look for responsive inspector. That's the name of my extension responsive inspector all right and just add it to Chrome now let's take a look uh, what it can do so if we go ahead to a website media queries which nicely gathers other uh, sites that have uh, responsive web design implemented uh, we can pick any of those maybe let's take uh, the next web then uh, here so if we go and run our responsive inspector, you will see that it nicely shows us all the media queries for, first of all, for max width that are defined in this for the site. And you can see all the resolutions here. Then it shows you all the media queries for which have the max and minimum width defined. Uh, and at the end, it shows all that have minimum width defined up to the infinity. Now, so that was the first feature. Second feature is actually if you want to inspect, you know, the code, the, the uh, CSS actually style sheet that is behind that uh, particular media query here, you can click this button here. So it will pop up um, a preview of the CSS style sheet, uh, which uh, also zooms in and focuses on that uh, particular media uh, definition. And as you can see, it's here. So you can you know see what's actually under the hood. Uh, all right. So but that's not all what you can actually do with uh, with uh, responsive inspectors. So let's get to it. And now if I want to, let's say, test how my browser will behave or how this actually website will behave on particular resolution or a particular device, uh, you can actually test it, let's say, okay, they define 767. So let's test. So it actually resized my window and I can see how it uh, scales. Of course, you can test it for other resolutions that are defined, but as well, you can test it for any resolution. So let's say 936. There we go. And it just rescales and resized. Okay, so let's take a look maybe to let's go and take a look at my blog here out of me and I'll show you a couple of uh, other features that a responsive inspector has. So uh, if we go in here again, let's take a look at 480 pixels here. So if I'm, let's say, working on a um, responsive web design and I want to share it either with my customer or with my colleagues and I want to just, you know, take a snapshot of full page width uh, that I've been working on, I can take a screenshot here at a certain resolution that is in the ruler defined and there you go it actually goes in uh, takes a snapshot one by one uh, scrolling down the page and stitches that into a single uh, image so it's actually a JPEG file and you can see that the preview is here of my full website now I can go ahead and save the file it's a JPEG um, so let's put it on desktop there we go so you can see it's 480 pixels wide as I requested and whatever the, the outcome of its width is, in this case is 1874 uh, pixels wide and I can preview, send it to whoever I want and so on. Now, the last feature that Responsive Inspector has, it's also related to sharing my design but this time actually I can, okay, again, let's take a snapshot again. I can share my design through the Behance service. So if you're a Behance user and uh, you want to share your designs with your colleagues, uh, with the community, uh, well, that's also a good tool for that because I, again, took a snapshot of the full page width and I can share it through Behance. Uh, because I was already previously logged in, it remembers uh, sort of my access token to Behance, but if I wasn't, it would actually redirect me to a page where I would have to allow this application to connect to Behance. But this time I didn't have to do it. Now, what I have option here, I already, you know, with my account, I have already some, um, some work in progress defined of my site, so I can either create new one or I can use existing one. So let's take a, a, an existing one, uh, some description, I have to put here. Also here I could put tags for my design. Uh, so uh, R RWD out of me and so on. And then I can just publish. 
So it's now actually uploading my design to Behance and once it's uploaded and it take, may take a few seconds because it's quite a big file, it's over three meg I think. Um, so once it's uploaded, I'll be able to see my working progress and this would add up as one of the uh, to already existing ones. So let's uh, wait a second and see how it looks when it's over. Okay, so we have it uploaded. Now if I go to Behance and take a look into my portfolio, my work, my work in progress here. So you can see this is the existing one that I added just right about now. And you can see I have some previews uh, also snapshots, but this is the, the most uh, latest one, which I added like 22 seconds ago. Okay, so you get the point uh, what the responsive, responsive inspector is. I hope it will be useful for you. Uh, well, go ahead, give it a try. Uh, it's still in beta, but uh, I think it's uh, feature complete at this point for at least one version. So give it a try. If you find any bugs, any issues with it, uh, go ahead to my blog out of me. There is a contact form and you can send me your, uh, your feedback. Thank you very much and bye.